because it's New Year, I wanted to create something for my nieces. I asked them if they want new dresses for this year and they immediately said yes. So in this tutorial, I will teach you how to create a bodice for children's wear. Children's wear are not contoured contrary to ladies' wear. The patterns are meant to be boxy for mobility, ease, and comfort. My youngest niece is Bella, she's 7 years old, turning 8. And my eldest niece is Fiel, she's 10 and she's turning 11. For Bella, I'm going to use an 8-year-old girl measurement as she will turn 8 next year and I want her to be able to use the dress that I'll be making for her for the rest of the year. For the pattern, I will start with an 8-year-old girl measurement and after that, I will braid that pattern converting it for an 11-year-old girl for my niece Fiel. So let's move on to the required measurements. Number 1. Neck Measure around the neck, insert a finger while getting the measurement for ease. Number 2. Shoulder length Measure from neck tip to shoulder tip. Number 3. Bust Measure around the bust. This is the biggest area of the upper body. Number 4. Waist Measure around the waist at the navel. Usually, it is the same size with bust area. And number five, back waist length. Measure from nape to waistline. Pause this video to copy the measurements. And this is for the back pattern calculations. And for the front pattern calculations. Now let's move on for the back pattern drafting. First, draw a horizontal line at the bottom part of your paper. This is for the waistline. On the left area, draw up a vertical line Make it sure to leave some space for the front part. From the waistline, mark up the back waist length measurement which is 12 inches or 30 centimeters. And square a line. Take note, this line should be parallel to the waistline. Next, from the back waist length, mark up for its of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. And square in another horizontal line and make it sure this is parallel to the other lines. At center back from back waist length, mark out the neck width measurement which is 2 to 8 inches or 5.7 centimeters. And square a line. Next, connect the neck width towards the center back and draw a boat shape for the back neckline. Next, from the neck width, mark out the shoulder length measurement which is 4 one inches or 10.3 centimeters. From this mark, Mark down a broken vertical line with a measurement of 1 to 8 inches or 3.2 centimeters. This is for the back shoulder slope. And connect a diagonal line going towards the neck with mark. Up. 
and mark in the shoulder length measurement along the diagonal line which is 4.18 inches or 10.3 centimeters. From center back at back neckline, mark down the bust line which is 6.38 inches or 16 centimeters. And draw a horizontal line and extend. We will use this line for the front pattern as well. At center back from the bust line, mark out the bust width which is 768 inches or 19.7 centimeters. And square a line connecting both marks together. Next, from center back at back neckline, Mark down 418 inches or 10.3 centimeters for the chest line. And draw a horizontal line and extend. Next, from center back at chest line, mark out the chest width, which is 568 inches or 14.3 centimeters. And complete the back armhole, drawing a curved line using your French curve. back pattern is complete so now let's move on to the front pattern drafting for the front waist and bust weave it is the same measurements with back waist and bust weave next draw a vertical line and extend make it sure that this line is parallel to the back waist length And the front chest weave is the same as the back chest weave minus 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 centimeters. And label the lines and label this front. From bust line, mark up the front length which is 7 inches or 17.5 centimeters. Next, extend a horizontal guideline, make it sure it's parallel. From center front, at front length, mark out front neck weave, which is also the same with the back neck weave measurement. From front neck weave line, mark down the front neck depth, which is 258 inches or 6.6 .6 centimeters and connect all the marks together. From the angle, create a diagonal line and mark out 6 eighths of an inch or 2 centimeters. Next, draw a curved line for the front neckline. From front neck width, mark out the shoulder length measurement, same as the back part. And draw a broken vertical line with a measurement of 148 inches or 3.8 centimeters, and this is for the front shoulder slope. And connect a diagonal line going towards the front neck weave. Next, mark in the shoulder length measurement, same as back. And lastly, complete the armhole by drawing a curved line using a French curve. Next, at the waistline from side seam, mark in 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 centimeters. And for the back, Mark in 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter. 
Next, I am going to connect these marks towards the underarm at side seam. And from center front at the waistline, mark down 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters. And draw a curved line towards the waistline at side seam. And there you go. Now I have a bodice pattern for my 8-year-old knees. And I am just going to cut out the bodice from the paper. I will use this pattern sloppers and I will grade them to make a pattern for an 11-year-old girl for my niece, Fiel. I am going to trace the back and front bodice sloppers on a piece of pattern paper. And please do not forget to mark the half of your necklines. Next, at the tip of the neck, Mark in 1 8 of an inch or 0 0.3 centimeters. Next, mark up 1 8 of an inch or 0 0.3 centimeters at shoulder length or level. And mark out 1 8 of an inch or 0 0.3 centimeters at the shoulder tip. Connect the marks at the shoulder level and connect new neck tip till the halfway of the front neckline. Next, from chest line, mark out 1 8 of an inch or 0 0.3 centimeters at the middle of armhole. Next, mark down 1 8 of an inch or 0 0.3 centimeters from underarm side seam. From the side seam, I am going to enlarge this area by 2 8 of an inch or 0 0.6 centimeters. And I will mark it out. And square a line. For the waistline, I am going to enlarge this by 2 eighths of an inch or 0 0.6 centimeters and mark down. And connect the marks, creating a new curved line. Next, I'm going to connect the marks at the underarm, mid armhole, and shoulder tip to complete the armhole. For the back bodice grading, it is the same procedure with the front bodice. So as you can see, I've sized up Bella's bodice four times to get an 11-year-old girl's size, which is for Fiel. And on the part two of this tutorial, I will create and sew their dresses using this bodice tutorial. Anyway guys, comment on the community section if you have any questions and I'll make it sure to answer as quickly as possible. I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to draft a bodice for children's wear and don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel La Modelist and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!